Welcome everyone to another video. So in this video, you will see my weekly routine of how I organize my fridge. So the night before trash, I will make sure that my fridge is completely cleaned out of any leftovers or spoiled or rotten foods and fruits and veggies. And we will make sure that that goes out to the trash for the next day. And then later on in that week, that's when I will do my weekly grocery shopping. So food prepping for me is one key to having an organized fridge. Not only does it help with storage, but also it is so necessary when it comes to planning and plating your meals. So yes, you'll notice that I am a fan of glass cutting boards. <laughs> I do love the look of wood cutting boards. I think they're very decorative, but actually to prep my food on, I prefer glass because it doesn't get those grooves like wood can where it can trap the flavor of foods and bacteria. So I've tried the wooden cutting boards, I've tried the plastic ones, but glass is definitely the way for me. So again, having an organized fridge for me is not just about aesthetic, but it really is about convenience. And so with that in mind, I will go ahead and wash my grapes. I'll pre-pluck them off the stem and then of course dry them. And I'll also do that with the cherries. Now I don't do that with all of my fruit because sometimes when you wash your fruit beforehand, it actually makes the ripening process go quicker. And of course we don't want that. We're trying to preserve our fruits and veggies. And so many things I just will just store straight from the container. And then as I'm about to serve them to the family, that's when I'll go ahead and wash it. benefit to the clear containers is that you know you can easily do inventory and know what you need to add to your shopping list. In this event I needed to get some more mushrooms. So I did run out of my black liner which I just picked up off of Amazon. I can leave a link in the description but if you don't have one of those black liners to absorb the moisture just make sure that you line your trays with a paper towel. Some of the key elements to me for having an organized fridge is just making sure that your containers are clear. Not only is it aesthetically pleasing, but also it just helps you not to waste food because if you can see the food that's in your fridge, you're more than likely to eat it.
I personally love storing our drinks in carafes. I think the only downside or the only con to them is that these particular ones are not dishwasher friendly. And so, you know, after every use, you do want to wash it out. And so it can kind of be hard to wash it because of its shape. But they do have glass carafes. But me having young kids, I just don't think that's the wisest choice. But yeah, I love the carafes. But this right here is definitely just for aesthetic. <laughs> Yes, I did just mix the two. Please don't knock it until you try it. <laughs> and here we are. All of our food is prepped and now we can get to organizing. jello pudding cups over here these are the cheesecake ones and the chocolate all chocolate and then chocolate and vanilla we have the yogurt that glow loves this is mama's aisle no touching for anyone else but i have my olives and i have my greek yogurt then we have cheese and then we have bread really simple okay so here's the grand reveal and i've had this refrigerator for two months now we got it right before thanksgiving that's when it finally was delivered. And um, yeah, this is how my fridge pretty much stays. So I'll show you once I got these containers. These containers help a lot. I'm used to having a organized refrigerator, but this has been the best one because of course we do have the space now, but then also 
these containers were a game changer. So I'll first go over everything. This is the eggs. I've had this egg container probably for about two months now or a month and a half now and I love it. So I actually went ahead and ordered another one and it should be here today. And so I'll have two egg containers soon. Um, but this is where I keep the eggs. Of course, this is the water. And I just think this is good. We act, we do have a water dispenser on the fridge, but you know, I like to be able to offer guest water when they come or like repairmen. And I think that this is always good to have because most people, unlike me, like cold water. I love room temperature water. This is where we keep the salad dressings right here. And this is where I keep the condiments. And this is just a little Lazy Susan that I purchased from Home Goods. Now, this is where I keep the fruit. My fruits pretty much stay the same. However, sometimes you might see in here, or instead of pineapple, we might have pears. What I typically do is whatever fruit that's over there, once it starts to ripen, I'll go ahead and just put it in the refrigerator to kind of slow down the ripening process. But if the fruit is still kind of hard, I'll definitely leave it out. And then that's when I'll put it in the fridge again, once it starts to ripen. So I like this system because it lets me know when I'm running out of something. And because these are our staple items, it just really helps. So I know like, okay, the kids love grapes. Oh, we're running low on grapes. So let me go ahead and get some more. And so again, here are the grapes. Ooh, let's take that one out. But yeah, here are the grapes right here. These are the blueberries, blackberries, and cherries. This is the watermelon tray. This is apples. And sometimes I'll keep oranges in there. Again, once they start to ripen, I'll just put them in here. These are where we keep the lemons and the limes. This tray is for pineapples. Again, sometimes I'll put pears in here. Um, I do have some cut up pineapples already for the kids, but for us, if we just wanna eat our pineapples kind of whole, that's fine. Um, and here are the strawberries. And one key with strawberries, I know that it is tempting to want to fill this all the way up, but again, this method is good because it helps you preserve fruit. So it is preferred by me. And when you want to preserve your fruit and just kind of make it last longer, you want to just leave it in a single layer so that if one does start to ripen or over ripen or rotten even, it won't kind of distribute to the other ones. So I do prefer just keeping it in one long layer. But sometimes I will have an abundance of strawberries if we go to like Sam's or Costco's and they will be on top of each other. But strawberries really don't last long in our house. So that is the fruit. And again, I keep the fruit separate from the vegetables just because the vegetables, I believe, do tend to let off a gas that can over ripen the fruit or it might be vice versa. But yeah, it's just good to keep them separated. If again, you're doing this method to not only for aesthetics or organization, but also to try to preserve your fruit and, and veggies longer. Okay, this is my veggie tray. Here are the mushrooms, the carrots, and here are the cucumbers. I'm still debating on whether I'm gonna keep my carrots in this container because I know that carrots do prefer water or some type of liquid. So not sure, but they're right there for right now. Here are the green onions. These are stackable. So I do have asparagus in here. This is the only time you'll see a stacking tray is when it's in here. Um, these are stackable, but I don't have to move this in order to get to the pineapples. That's why I love the sliding containers. That really was a game changer for me. Um, over here is where I keep the celery. And honestly, if you really want to preserve your celery and make your fruit and veggies, because you guys, groceries are, are expensive. So <laughs> if you really want to have your celery last longer, one good thing that you could do is wrap it in foil. And so that's just a little bit too much work for me, because again, 
Um, just with the kids, I try, I just try to move quickly. So I don't do that. I just pretty much just keep it in here. This is the humidity control system. So you're not gonna see as much humidity in this container as you would like out here where you're getting all that condensation. Okay, because you don't want that for your veggies especially. Here goes the lettuce. We have an extra lettuce right here. And okay, let me take you up here. Now, in order to get something like this to work, at least for me, I had to make sure that I had a leftover section. Um, a lot of times people will just put trays and trays in here or organizing with just you know, stuff and I guess things they need, but then we eat leftovers. Everybody doesn't eat leftovers, but we do. So this section is dedicated just for leftovers, which is very important here. Um, and then this are, this is basically an organizer for our tubs, mainly just a lot of cheeses, but they won't fit in the condiment tray. This right here is my kind of leftover tray excuse me, not leftover, but needs to cook tray. So first I keep these here. So when I do cut a uh, produce, it needs to be stored. I'll put it in there. And so that's what this is for. I keep it in the refrigerator just so that I don't have to look for it when I need it. Cause I do, um, you know, cook with these things and eat these things pretty frequently, but you can also store them in the cabinet if you like. I just keep them in the fridge for easy access. But this right here, I guess you would kind of call it like my meat tray, but after I go grocery shopping, I don't necessarily cook everything that I get all at once. And so things that I don't cook in that needs to be cooked, I will put them in here. So it is good to do this while you are hungry. I have some leftover cherries and one pack of olives that did not fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go so I can go ahead and snack on some snacks. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to go take your peace and give God the pieces. You see